Hey guys, welcome back to the August Diaries. Um, I'm super excited about today because it is my first collaborative video ever. Um, I'm collaborating with Kiss and we're doing a wedding day look. So um, it worked out perfectly because obviously I'm getting married next year and um, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I've been experimenting with looks and kind of trying to figure out which direction I want to go in. Um, so. Kiss came to me and asked if I would be interested in doing a wedding day look with some of their products. So today I'm going to be using two of their products, the Kiss Salon Acrylic Nude French Nails. Um, now I was super hesitant to be using these. Um, I kind of tend to go for quite natural nails, but I've had this fantasy of having these longer, um, more pointed nails for a really long time. And I think they're incredibly classic, but also super modern at the same time. Like they kind of remind me of something that Rihanna might wear um, and then she could paint over them in black or something. But um, I was really excited to try them out and um, they were super easy to put on. So I'll be showing you guys how I do that. And then along with doing this very classic makeup look, I'm going to be using the Kiss Lash Couture Faux Mink Collection Lashes. They come in four different varieties. This one is called Midnight. This is Little Black Dress, which I really, really like. Um, there's Gala, and then Boudoir, which might be my favorite. And Boudoir is actually what I'm wearing right now. If you're getting your makeup done by somebody, make sure you do a trial, and then go outside and take a ton of photos. So make sure you take with flash, without flash, close up, far away, everything, just so that you don't have any surprises on your wedding day. You just wanna make sure that everything looks great. I will be using false lashes on my wedding. You can use a full strip, a half strip, individuals, whatever you like. Um, I, I like the look of these because they look very defined, but in photographs, they won't look too big and they'll still look natural. I could definitely, definitely see myself wearing this on my wedding day. I actually like it much more than I thought. I kind of figured that I would go in doing like a soft bronze smoky eye, which is what I've been doing for the past little while, but um, I really like this look. Okay, so we're gonna start with nails and then we'll go into the makeup tutorial. So let's get started. So first of all, I covered my kitchen counter with um, paper towel. So then I selected the correct size nail for each of my finger and put them in order. So before we put them on, I'm just going to clean my nails with acetone polish remover um, just to make sure they're ready for the glue to go on. They're thinner at the cuticle so that they fit really well. But they're going to look nice, very elegant. We're going to put glue on our natural nail as well as on the back of the artificial nail. and you can be quite generous with the glue. Then you just stick it on and press it down and hold for five seconds. I would hold for 10 seconds. It's always better to be safe. There we go. That's what they look like. So it's an oval shape, which I've always wanted to get. They look like my own nails, but just with a sheer nude on top. I will let you guys know how these are to take off because I haven't taken them off yet, obviously. Um, but according to the instructions, you just want to soak them in acetone and then they should just slide right off um, the nail and the glue as well. So now that we've got our nails on, I started by using my Vita Liberata dry oil self tanner on my face. Um, and then I just made sure to wipe my eyebrows off so that they weren't any darker. And I also tend to wipe around my mouth just cause it can look a little bit pigmented. I'm just gonna go in with a primer. This is the Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer. And I'm also gonna mix it with my Lush Charisma Skin Tint just to give a little bit of color. Obviously you wanna do all of this not wearing your wedding dress, right? <laughs> Just wanted to make sure. Then I'm just gonna go in with my Jane Erdale Pressed Powder Foundation. I really like this because my skin tends to get oily, especially when 
I'm out in the sun and getting sweaty and um, if I'm nervous then I definitely tend to get more oily. So I like to use a powder foundation that has coverage but that will definitely keep that in check. So I'm actually going to go straight into eyes in case there's any fall down um, from the eyeshadow. I'm going to be using my Smashbox Cover Shop palettes, mainly the matte eye palette. Actually before we start any eye or any other makeup, I'm just gonna use some lip balm so that by the time we do lips, it'll have soaked in. And now I'm just gonna go in with this color Deadline and just put it all over my lid. And it's pretty much the same color as my lid. It'll just act as a primer. Just gives a slight amount of color. And then I'm gonna go in with my MAC 217 and using Editor, I'm going to go through the crease for a little bit of definition and just kind of blend outwards because I do want that winged classic look. I'm going to use Supermodel to add even a little bit more definition and warmth through the crease again. These are all super matte, um, which is really nice because then you can really choose where you want any kind of shimmer or shine. I'm just using a clean eyeshadow brush to blend everything together. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit more Supermodel. I would say most women want it to look like their features are defined, but they're not wearing a ton of makeup. And in photographs, a lot of the time, you need to wear a little bit more makeup, especially on your eyes and a little bit more on your cheeks to kind of give you a bit more definition and color. That doesn't mean you have to cake on your makeup or wear too so much that you feel uncomfortable. Um, but I would just make sure to do a few test runs. So like get someone to take a few photographs of you. If you're having a trial done, make sure you see how everything looks. So do close up photographs further away and just make sure that you're happy with everything so that on your wedding day, you're not worrying about any of this stuff. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put a little bit of editor on the lower lash line. So now we're gonna go in with the liner. We'll see how everything looks and then, you know, you can always add a little bit more color, change the shape a little bit, um, whatever you need to do. So I'm just gonna sketch out kind of a basic line and then I'm gonna go over it with black eyeshadow just to make it look a little bit softer. These are a little bit uneven, so I'm gonna use a Q-tip just to um, balance everything out. So this part isn't too important in terms of being perfect because you're just kind of mapping out the shape and making the liner last longer because you're doing layers. Um, so then we're gonna go in with the black color in the Smashbox palette, which is called Work It. Work It. I'm just gonna use an eyeliner brush, wet it a little bit, and I'm gonna go over and soften that line. It doesn't matter if your line isn't perfect because you're just kind of um, smudging and softening out the line anyway. So I'm just gonna take a Q-tip and make sure that there's no black anywhere along there. So we have a nice clean surface. I'm gonna go in with YSL The Shock. Want shockingly beautiful lashes on your wedding. Am I right, ladies? If you do what I just did, no problem. Choose a Q-tip, dab it away. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with under eye concealer, as per usual, I'm using my Makeup Forever Ultra HD. And I'm gonna put it under the eye and then I'm gonna let it sit for a sec. Put a little bit around the nose. And it'll let the product set a little bit better. In the meantime, I'm just gonna do some spot concealing with my Clay de Peau and just a flat concealer brush. It's definitely worth it to spend time on this to get a flawless 
base for your photographs or for yourself, whatever. With all of this wedding planning craziness, gotta remember to do what makes you happy. So we're just gonna tap this in my ring finger really lightly. And you can add another thin layer if you want to. Um, I like to do it right here just because I tend to get a little bit of discoloration right there and it makes me look tired. So I'll add a little bit more concealer right there. But again, just doing it where you need it so that you don't have a ton of product underneath your eye and then it'll crease and it'll just, it won't look good. So I'm gonna set the concealer. Um, I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder. So I'm going tip of my nose, sides of my nose, chin, underneath my eye in a triangle because you're gonna wanna highlight here. I'm going where I concealed and then center on my forehead. Now we're gonna do lashes. So I've decided that I'm gonna use the Boudoir lashes. So first you wanna apply mascara. Um, and I would only curl your lashes once cause you don't want your false lashes to be like straight up and then they look super fake. So normally I have to trim my lashes down a little bit. So you can see that I need to take a little bit off the end otherwise they'll be too long. I'm just gonna take um, some cuticle scissors and trim them down. So I just trimmed off, I don't even know if you can see this, about this much. And you just wanna make sure that your lashes are even. Ooh, holding them up to the light, it looks like there's a little bit of brown in there, which is so nice because it makes them look way more natural. And I'm gonna cut this as well. So now I'm gonna go in with the Strip Lash Adhesive, and this is the clear one. They also have black. I'm just gonna put it on a thin layer, and then we're gonna let it sit for 30 seconds so that it gets tacky. So they're not free lashes, so that means that like at the very base of the lash, there's no little knot, which can look really unnatural. So they look really natural on your lash line. Um, and I like that the base is black because it gives you a really defined lash line, which most people don't have, so. I like to apply mine with tweezers. This glue is actually easier to use than the um, duo glue that everybody uses just because it gets tacky a little bit quicker. I actually don't know if you guys have ever seen me wearing false lashes before. I only wear them for um, special occasions. I guess my wedding counts as one of those. Okay, so let's do the other side. So I actually like putting the beginning of the lashes a little bit away from like the very corner of your eye just because it looks a bit more natural. Nobody has eyelashes right into here. You want to make them look like your lashes but way better. These lashes are so feathery and light. I really, really, really like them. And yes, this is a sponsored post but I'm giving you my honest opinion. I would definitely use these again. I love that they're tapered and that the end is uh, is bigger. I'm gonna do my mascara on my lower lashes. I'm using my Blink mascara. Even if you cry or wipe your eyes, it's not gonna go anywhere. I'm still gonna let um, those lashes dry a little bit and I'm actually gonna go in with that eyeshadow again and build up the crease just a little bit just because they are fairly dramatic and I want to make sure that everything kind of works together. So I'm going to take Supermodel, that darker color, and just go in the crease a little bit more. And then as always, just make sure that you're blending with a clean brush. So now that my lashes are dry, I'm just going to go in with my shadow and make sure that everything is really clean and really dark. 
I'm just gonna put a little bit of gold right in the corner of my eye just because it makes it look really bright, but not too much because you don't want it to look too shimmery, especially compared to all the matte shadows that you have on. I just really like how it kind of brings your eyes to life. There we go. So now I'm gonna go in with bronzer. I'm using my Marc Jacobs um, Omega Bronze in Tantastic. So we're just gonna do a light contour Go from your ear, down your cheekbone. And then I like to sweep it in this motion a little bit onto my cheekbone, or sorry, onto my apple of my cheek. Forehead, bridge of the nose, under your chin, and onto your neck. Okay, so I'm gonna do brows really quickly. I'm gonna use my Anastasia Brow Wiz. I don't really do much anymore since I got my eyebrows microbladed, but I just like to fill in right here just to make them look nice and full. And then I'm just gonna brush them up with my Charlotte Tilbury Brow Gel. So they look super bushy. Obviously, the bushy, thick brows are my preference, um, but whatever you prefer, please do so. I wouldn't necessarily try anything radical on your wedding day, just because you don't want to regret it. Okay, I'm gonna do highlighter. This is the Marc Jacobs Dew Drops Coconut Gel Highlighter. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand use my finger and just tap it onto my cheekbone and below my brow bone a little bit on the bridge of the nose i like to do it here but not on the tip of my nose i know some people like to put a highlighter on the tip of their nose i think it's just personal preference again whatever you prefer please do so this is your day this makeup also works for like an event or something like that you don't have to be getting married to do this. For blush, I'm going to use this NARS liquid blush in the color Torrid. And you need so little of it. This is literally all I'm putting on my hand. And because it's super pigmented. And then I'm just going to, you can see how bright it is. I'm going to put it kind of up my cheekbone like that. And then I'm gonna put a teeny bit on my nose. And then I'll also sometimes use my um, foundation brush just to blend in the edges. And you can always layer um, a, a, sorry, a powder blush over this blush to give more layers so that it stays for longer, but I think I'm good with this one. I'm gonna start with this Stila liquid lipstick and I'm just gonna apply it with my finger So I want it to be just a little bit pinkier than that, so I'm actually going to use some of the leftover blush and just put it kind of on the center. There we go. That's really pretty. And then last but not least, set everything. So I'm using the Kat Von D Locket setting spray. So there we go. That is the finished look. It's a very classic bridal look. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that was helpful. Um, I would love your feedback on what you think about this bridal look. If you think this should be a contender in my um, experimentation leading up to my wedding because I'm still trying to figure out what kind of look I'm going to do. So obviously would love your guys' feedback and I will see you next time.